Hey y'all, thanks so much for clicking on today's Bride to Be vlog. My name is Andrea and today's video is going to be pretty much all about my bridesmaids boxes. So I'm going to be proposing to them very, very soon in October. Right now it's September, so I'm just prepping everything and I'm going to pretty much put them all together and propose to them sometime in October. And so I wanted to kind of document how I made the boxes and what things I bought and how I'm going to put it all together. So I kind of got an idea of the vision of what I want the box to look like, but now it's just about buying everything and I've already bought some stuff and have it here at home so I wanted to kind of start off this vlog by showing you guys what I've already bought the video is gonna be a vlog style video um, so yeah I don't want to talk too much so I went to Hobby Lobby um, but I bought these gift tags it's a 12 count for five dollars and they have like this chalkboard kind of reminds me of a chalkboard and they had some stickers on the back but i peeled them off and these will be the name tags that i diy myself for my bridesmaids I'm going to personalize each tag so that their names will be on it and i'll probably put a scripture on the back and this is something that they can keep after the fact so they can use it like as a bookmark they can put it in their car hang it in the car or like a keychain so i'm going to stress the fact that they should not throw these away but i think these are going to be so so cute so i'm excited about that and i got some liquid chalk markers and they're from the brand brand ideas in Hobby Lobby but yeah they're chalk markers and I got one in silver a pack in silver and a pack in white and these were three dollars each and I'm probably gonna put their names in silver this is what the tip looks like so it literally looks like a marker and I'll be able to use them to personalize their names with like my hand lettering font and then I'll probably use the white for the scriptures on the back so then I bought a spool of twine from Hobby Lobby this was I think four dollars three ninety nine and I'm gonna use this to kind of wrap around my bridesmaids boxes um, hopefully it'll all make sense once I put everything together and it matches the theme of the twine on the name tags as well so I felt like this was, it's pretty fitting to get those name tags and everything. Okay, next, I got some stuff from Amazon. So I'll start with Michaels. I went into Michaels and got these like berry um, fake plants. And I got some in blush because one of my colors will be blush. That's a fact that me and Jeremy know so far. And then I got some in like this white color and it's supposed to mimic like berries. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut each berry stem off. And I'm going to wrap it within the twine as I wrap it around the box. So it'll be like a cute little accent piece of a little floral. And I think that is just so cute. Um, and so I'll just take one and put them on each box. Either a pink or a white. Or if I can do both on some boxes. Like for my Maid of Honor box. Then I'll do that as well if I have extra. So got these from Michael. And then here's the twine that came with my boxes that I plan to use. But I got my boxes off of Amazon for about $10 for $12. I think that was a pretty decent deal. And um, I'm going to try and build one really quickly for you guys so you can see what size I'm going for. So it'll be like this and the inside is like this. So it's a decent size. It's like a perfect square and it has like a lid on top. And then to actually solidify the box and make sure it's nice and tight, I'm going to do the twine and add all that cute stuff that I just showed y'all. So those are the boxes. I'll have the boxes definitely linked down below. Um, and I'll try and find the Hobby Lobby stuff on their website and link that down there as well, just in case you're interested. And then I bought some blank white cards so that I can personalize the front of them uh, with my hand lettering skills. So right now I'm in the process of trying to figure out what um, slogan I'm going to use. You know how they'll say like, I can't tie the knot without you or something cute like that. I want to find something. And I'm going to, you know, write that personally on the front and decorate the cover. And then I'm going to write cute notes to each of my bridesmaids telling them why I chose them. So 20 comes in this pack. I'm going to share them with my fiance for his groomsmen. And this is perfect. I also got this from Amazon. They were really cheap. Um, so I'll have these linked down below too. Y'all gotta excuse how I look. It's just, it's an average day. I'm not really doing anything. So yeah, that's everything. And I will catch you guys on another day when I start doing the gift tags. <laughs>
guys um same spot but definitely a different day i just finished my tags i can't wait to show y'all i am in love with them i hope they don't show backwards because right now in the viewfinder they look very much backwards this is my niece's name this is my favorite one it just came out so cute i love it so i use the gray and white chalk markers they worked beautifully on the tags and i'm just so excited i'm getting so excited i had to stop and start on these whoops i dropped one but it's cool and I haven't done the backs yet, but I'm going to put scriptures on the back just to kind of, you know, make them personal. I'm going to pick out some scriptures that I think fits each person. And they will be keeping these bookmarks, hang in your car, whatever you want to do. But you going to keep this because I worked really hard on these. So, yay. Now it's time to think about what to do for the cards because I told you guys I bought some blank person, like blank white cards. And that's where I'll be writing my special notes to them. And I'm not really sure what the front is going to look like. And I don't want it to be plain, but I also don't want it to be like too crowded and extra. So the next thing I'll show y'all is the personalized cards. So I'll be working on those today as well. it's a new clip a new day I think it's like maybe a week or two since the last clip you guys saw but I'm here to update you guys on the box I did something really really cute I went to Walgreens and got some pictures printed um, from my phone of my bridesmaids and myself together and I think they're so cute I think it really personalizes the box so I'm gonna show you guys that I also went to the liquor store and got these little rosé mini bottles they were like $5.99 each. Cute. It fits like the color that I'm going for for my bridesmaids dresses. So like that rosy blush color. It's some rosé. And so I got some of those and then I went to Walgreens. So let me show you an update on the boxes. So here they are. I think it's so cute. So this is an example of what one of my boxes will look like. I'm not sure if I'm going to add anything extra. I think it's fine like it is. It's just something to say like, yay, I love you. <laughs> so yeah, this is a picture of me and one of my bridesmaids. I just added some little spotlight polka dots around it. And then I wrote this myself. You plus me equals forever. XOXO. And I think this is just so cute. It adds a little personalization to it and everything with the cards that I showed you that I did on the inside of this car on the top half I'm gonna put will you be my bridesmaid so the actual question will be inside the car but when they open the box they'll see this and then all the pretty stuff inside and then they'll see their card on top as well and that's when they'll open it and see all the kids stuff 
So I'm excited. Yeah, so I'm excited. It's finally coming together. As of right now, it's like October 4th or 3rd or something like that. So I'm starting to wrap up on the boxes because I don't want to make them a last minute thing. Also, before you go, I went to Dollar Tree and got some like garnish paper. They did not have like cute colors in there. So I had to go with black and I had some white as well. So basically what I'm going to do is mix up the black and white and put it at the bottom of the boxes. They didn't have any blush colors or green. They had like oranges and reds. And I could have did blue because we're thinking about navy blue being my color or our color for the wedding. Like a deep navy blue. But that one was like a royal blue and I didn't want to confuse stuff. So I was like black and white, you know, that kind of makes sense. So I have to stuff the boxes with black and white garnish, but that's cool. And yeah, everything is kind of wrapping up. So I'm thinking the next clips will be me just packaging the boxes up. And then you guys will see the final results and all that good stuff. So, yay! <laughs> if you stuck with me this far, thank you. Because I know it's just a lot of clips of just stuff. So, thanks. Okay, bye. Aw, look, I got my hair done. Check out my hang time. Check out my hang time. And I can put it in a bun. And I could put, okay, let me stop. All right, so yeah, I got my hair done. Very, very happy and excited. So obviously, you know, it's getting really, really real if my hair is done. Um, so today is Sunday. The proposal dinner is Thursday. So I got about four days to get my life together. I have uh, quite a few more boxes to build. So I'm going to start filming that process so you guys can see the final results of the boxes. Yay! They are coming out so cute. Everything that I envisioned is coming to life. So yay, hard work does pay off. So I wanted to show y'all um, some things that I got in the mail. Just two more items that I think are worth mentioning just in case uh, you are trying to find the stuff for your box. So my champagne flute glasses came in. They are so cute. So they have the rose gold lettering on them. And they say each lady's name. I think they are so cute from my Etsy shop. I'll have the person's name listed below. And it was on sale, so I'm not sure if they'll have the same price. But I'll have the person's name below. I just recommend that you guys go on there and find the type of glass or cup that you're looking for. And then try and measure out the prices to see which one is best for you. And the last thing is these cute little chapsticks from Amazon. So I was doing some last minute shopping. Shopping. I really wasn't trying to buy anything else because I had already reached my max limit of my budget but I was like I gotta get these they were $15 and the chapstick say kiss the mist goodbye let me try and lower the light they're like this blush pink and gold color and it came with the chapsticks blank and then you had the sticker sheet in which you just put the stickers on there yourself um very very cute for fifteen dollars uh, i think i spent like 18 with shipping and everything i mean with taxes um so yeah very very cute so i have these linked below and as well as the other stuff that i mentioned throughout the video let's go ahead and get into it
Hey guys, so I wanted to give y'all a little bit of an overview of what's inside the box. I know I got a few clips of me building them, but they were kind of sped up, so I wanted to make sure you guys could see what's all in them. Um, so this is Amber's box, one of my friends, and so she has the card here on top, and inside the card is, of course, the, the big question. And then she has her personalized champagne glass, a chapstick, the hand sanitizer. I'm not sure if I told you guys, but I made these little fake labels. Um, by the time I would have ordered some, they wouldn't have been here in time. And I was just like, let me just do something creative. Um, so I decided to make my own. Very simple and cute. And I came up with the, the little quote on the front. Actually, Jeremy and I came up with it. The hands of a queen must stay clean. And that's on period. Okay. So um, then I have this rosé here just a regular bottle and then a ring pop so all of that included and plus they get to keep the picture and then the name tag and i'll show you guys what a finished box looks like as well and then here's the finished box so of course this isn't the same one this is just an example but this is what it looks like on the outside but this is the outcome very very cute and everything and they get to keep this name tag as well which has a scripture on the back so very cute let me turn this down before i get copyright so i wanted to show you guys you guys my niece's box i forgot to print her out a picture so i'm gonna have to improvise i decided to use some of the leftover flowers since she is gonna be a flower girl to kind of dust over the top and then her card is here and she loves nail polish and I know she likes makeup so I got her some you know the glosses that we used to get when we were little from the beauty supply store and got her a ring pack of course she actually loves these and then I made her a little hand sanitizer label just for her so I wanted to show you guys that as well I'm wrapping up if you can tell these are all the boxes right here. I'm just about done. This is my last one. And then the next step will be to propose. So see you guys in a sec. Last minute decision to get some balloons. I look a hot mess out here, don't mind me. But I got some balloons. So now it's really going to be cute. Can't wait. So guys. <laughs> so today is the day. It's currently 6 10 p.m. My dinner is at 7. Just did my makeup and I did my hair. I'm probably just gonna brush it a little bit. And today is the day. Slick nervous, but it's out of excitement. I promise you, I'm so excited to propose to them. Just a little bit nervous, but once I'm there, I'm pretty sure I'll be fine. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get some clips for you guys. I hope that y'all will see my outfit and everything, but I'm mostly going to be getting clips of them and just the whole party. You guys will see some pictures and all that cute stuff. So I really hope y'all enjoyed this vlog. If it helped you for whatever reason, or if you just simply enjoyed it, please make sure you like and subscribe to me so you can keep up with the lovely content that I create for you guys. Within this bridal series, I'm going to be uploading a lot more throughout my journey. So if you're in your season of marriage, then definitely hit subscribe. Or if you are in your season of waiting, hit subscribe too. So I'm going to stop talking. I need to make sure I even carry my camera. So I'm going to put it up right now as I speak and prepare to leave. I'm so excited. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Bye.
Hey y'all, so I'm back home. Just left the dinner. Everything was so, so beautiful. Everybody had great spirits. They loved the boxes. Like I was shook that they loved the boxes so much. I know I put a lot of effort into them and all that, but it was still kind of like, are y'all gonna like them? And they liked them. Everybody was just so grateful, so honored. And I was honored myself to have so many beautiful women sitting around me that I could call like true friends and family that I know will be in my life forever. So <sighs> that was just like a dream. Let me tell you, that was worth every penny, every night of just working on the boxes, everything. It was worth it times 10. I would do it over again. So... Yeah, just a little update. I know you guys probably saw the pictures, but nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you give me a thumbs up. And also, please make sure you're subscribed because I plan to put out more like bridal related videos. And I have a plethora of other videos on my channel that you guys can check out. So make sure you subscribe. And I will catch you guys in my next video or my next bridal vlog. Bye.